Good day, everyone. This is a video to cover the removal and measurement for a Lazy Susan. And this is probably take 20, but I'm going with it. So there is a broken tray on the old Lazy Susan. Here is how to measure it. Measure the diameter. And if you look at this one, it's 27 and a half inches. And the one that I ch chose to purchase was 28 inches. And here is the model and brand. And it was about $79. So right after this will be the video on how to remove the existing Lazy Susan. Thanks for viewing. So we have a Lazy Susan. Uh, the top shelf looks fine. Yeah, it moves around nice. But the bottom shelf cracked. And you can see that I tried to take the uh, quick route, which really wasn't the quick route because it ended up breaking again. And I ended up using some uh, putty or bondo to do it and yes it was a cop job so now I'm actually going to do it right and when I did some research I found out that you can buy the whole Lazy Susan replacement and it, it should only take about 15 or 20 minutes to put the new one in uh, I looked for some videos on how to remove the old Lazy Susan because as you can see it's one part this uh, pie shaped piece here and I wanted to remove at least one of them and, you know, see if the uh, replacement parts uh, were the right size before I, I tried to set the whole thing up. But I had trouble finding the video online, so I figured I'd post one. So what I tried to do first was I removed uh, the other screws on here and then removed... Um, this screw and this piece it comes up and down but when I lift it up the pie piece as you can see there is a uh, bracket there that will end up going into the bottom of this so it sits in the, in the bottom there and there it is so I figured why not try to remove this top bar and then this one would be remaining. And then I could just slide this this piece here up and over. And, you know, I'll end up taking out the whole thing anyways. Um, but that's where I'm at now. And I figured I would show you so I don't have to reassemble it all and, and make a, a video from the beginning. I figured why not show you just where I'm at and, uh, you know, what I went through. But uh, for you guys out there that... Um, would rather just do a quick fix and go fishing sooner or later you're gonna have to replace this so um, and maybe you go golfing or something like that as well but uh, just know that you can go on Amazon and you can buy one of these lazy Susan replacements I think the one we purchased was seventy nine dollars and I'll you know take a little bit of that um, a video of that when it's replaced so here's where I'm at now. I was removing some of the bolts for this top plate and then supposedly the smaller shaft there, uh, I can remove it and then I'll be able to slide the, the trays, the pie shaped trays up. Um, but when I was removing the screws, I realized I didn't have enough room to you know, fully loosen the screws because my uh, drill was too long. So what I'm going to do now is actually remove these screws from this tray and then what I assume is this bracket here will just slide down and I could probably do it just by removing this uh, set screw. This is an adjustment screw. I looked at some other videos and realized that. So I'll press pause and then uh, I'll remove that screw and see what happens. So I loosened the set screw there in the center and just slid down. And now I have room up there to loosen 
those screws. So, I thought I would just loosen those screws and I could slide the pipe down, but uh, it didn't. So what I did notice is there is a screw here, um, an adjustment or a set screw to take into consideration. So I'm going to loosen this uh, set screw there. I loosen that set screw, the one right where my thumb is here, and it slid right down into the main tube. And now I can work with it. One thing that I wanted to show you here is that this was on top, and then I had my set screw right here. And this just pulls off and the set screw just screws out. So now I can lift these shells off. Um, what I'll need to do is tilt them and then pull them out. Here's something I noticed when I was trying to lift the, uh, the tray up. If you can look down here, the whole thing came apart. So, uh, what do? <laughs> now this was, this was not as easy as it seems, so what I had to do is get the Lazy Susan, the top of it, um, on its shaft sideways like this. And then if you look, I can just turn it and I can pull the whole thing out. Now to do so, it still wasn't as easy as it seems, so I had to shift the whole um, shaft to the very back of the Lazy Susan. See how it is back there? And now I can actually pull it out. You can see right there where it's coming out. And I'm running out of space on my phone. So hopefully that helps you at least to plan your attack. And so here is the new Lazy Susan uh, that came from Amazon. And we have the prime advantage of you know getting it shipped in two days. And obviously there's other places you can purchase this from too. Um, which are probably just as good or who knows maybe even better but I just wanted to show you what actually came and it was the two trays and then um, the shaft that's kind of already set up um, one inside the other and uh, there's instructions there it looks like it's only one or two pages and that's it there's the old one that came out and what I did is I just took the new one and just put it on top of the old one uh, just to make sure that they lined up you know that they're the same or similar sizes and you know they are I might have lost um, an inch or two and uh, if you look at it it is probably about an inch or two no biggie um, and then I actually uh, you know, put it inside and, and just turn it to see if it would work. Um, you know, obviously it's uh, a tad smaller. I picked the 28-inch model, um, and it's, as you can see, that's about the size of it. So I did lose eh, probably an inch and a half, two inches. But on the sides, I did uh, get a much wide, higher uh, side for it than on the, you know the previous one so that's uh what came in the mail and i'm going to you know set it up soon